Before we leave you tonight, we want to look into one final question. Does sex sell? One Van Buren couple sure hopes so. It's a different way to market a home for sale. Now, we do want to warn you, this story does have some adult themes. Shane and Jennifer McKinney are selling their house with a sexy surprise, a dungeon they built themselves. Five News reporter Allie Lynch takes us inside this unique property. From the street, it looks like a typical family home, but on the inside, behind a hidden door, gives access to an adult playroom Shane and Jennifer McKinney built themselves. Now, why aren't there any shows or anything to promote couples being able to spice up their sex life by doing a little bit of remodels on their home to make it more accessible to that part of their lives? The home for sale is in the small town of Van Buren, a dry county and a generally quiet community. The four bedroom house has been on the market for almost a week and has already racked up thousands of views. Jennifer is the listing agent and gets several calls a day for tours. The interest has been amazing. We're at 200,000 views on Zillow. Although the couple says the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly had an impact on selling their home. And one of the offers that we received was having trouble because COVID has interfered with income. So qualifications for loans and things are difficult right now for some folks. Down the spiral staircase is a stocked bar, entertainers pole, and a slew of custom furniture made by Shane. Some of the items like the uh, cross is relatively cliche. It's a traditional dungeon item that people expect to see. So in reality, that's not as much of an interest to us as much as it was done for film because it was fun to film the project and relatively easy to put together. Some of the other apparatuses were things that we were more interested in ourselves. However, some next door neighbors of the McKinney's are not on board. Disturbed um, to think that something like that is across the street from me. It concerns me as to what is moving into our neighborhood. Um, in this day and age, um, it just, I mean, it really bothers me as the type of person that would buy that house. The two say they are happy to talk about their space with anyone who shows interest. There's a lot of things you'll see in the pictures, yes, but there are a tremendous number of things that you wouldn't be able to experience and the feel and the atmosphere of the place. It's designed to be inside of it. It's not designed to be looked at. 